always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Grand Rapids looking peaceful this Saturday morning, although when you step outside, depending on where you're at, might need to grab the umbrella, poncho, or maybe everything in between. So, Sarah, uh, eager for people to have their weekend plan staying outdoors. Will they have to have a plan B, though, for uh, throughout the rest of the day? Yeah, the next couple of days looking pretty busy weather-wise. Lots of rain and thunderstorm chances working to develop. This is what Storm Track Live looks like right now. We saw this heaviest uh, swath of rain pass through just about an hour ago, but still scattered rain chances will continue out there. We have another line that's just draped to the southwest of Grand Rapids that will continue to push through the lightning, though, pretty minimal at this point and no severe threat that we're tracking this morning. That warm front that caused so many issues off to our west yesterday as far as tornadoes and severe weather really is just lifting across our area, but we're on the lesser end of things right now. Live look over Allendale visibility a bit of an issue out there with the rain. Temperatures, though, not so much. We're sitting on the warmer side of things, 60 degrees, with winds currently coming from the south, sustained at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And that will be the case as we head throughout the afternoon. Those top wind gusts will be near that 30 to 40 mile per hour mark as well. So your planner is a bit of a tricky one. We'll break it down. This morning, we're simply just dealing with scattered showers, really no thunderstorm development taking shape. We should have a mostly dry afternoon, allowing high temperatures to reach those mid 70s, but then a chance for showers and thunderstorms starts to redevelop in the evening. The severe weather threat, though, at this point looks pretty localized to those overnight hours. Take a look at your future cast. Again, there goes those showers that we're dealing with this morning. Tonight, couple isolated showers and thunderstorms possible before sunset, but after sunset will really be that time frame where we'll watch some of these thunderstorms develop. Again, a pretty overnight system, mainly between the hours of about midnight and 4 a.m. As these continue to pass through, we'll likely see some heavy rain in the mix, more rain expected throughout the day on Sunday, couple thunderstorms possible Sunday afternoon, but there is no severe threat for Sunday simply just today. But keep in mind what you're looking at here goes until uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. A slight risk in place for areas north of I-96. South of I-96 is a marginal risk. That's a level one out of five. Regardless of where you are, the top threats that we're tracking is the potential for some large hail and some damaging winds. The tornado threat very low and even lower given the time frame when we'll see this system. Typically, we start to see those severe storms in the afternoon and evening during those peak days daytime heating hours, but when it happens overnight, it tends to lose a little bit of momentum. Regardless, we're warm for Sunday and Monday. 77 and 72 both days looking likely to have scattered showers and thunderstorms, but again, no severe threat for day two or day three at this point. We'll continue to watch if that changes. I had a lot to say about this eight day forecast. It's a busy one. Tuesday only looking like the confidently dry day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, scattered showers and thunderstorms once again looking likely. We are expecting to be a little bit cooler behind this system. You'll notice those temperatures dropping down into those 60s as we move into next weekend and eventually we could see a couple 50s pop up on there. But for now, feeling like spring and eventually looking like spring with those storms later on today.